Okay, so the evening of June 20th, I sit down on my computer and I get an email talking about that my Google account was recovered successfully. Um, I had never lost access to it, or at least I didn't think I had until now. So what I'm going to tell you about is I was hacked and I was hacked and my Google ads account was hacked. Not only that, but it's my Google ads account that has access to all of my clients. And to this point, I'm not exactly sure exactly what happened or how they did it, but not only did they gain access to that, they created a couple of basically bad accounts inside of my clients' accounts and were trying to advertise and use money for whatever they were selling. So I'm going to show you exactly what happened, how I figured it out, what I did, and yeah, it's been a long week. So let's get started. So June 20th, 4.52 p.m., email comes through my account saying, your account was recovered successfully. Once again, I did not lose my account. Uh, I have no idea what had happened. But then I noticed a lot of things happened. Now, this video is going to be two parts. Now, stay with me here for a minute. The first part is about my Google Ads account, how that got hacked. That's what this video is about. The other video that I will release at a later date is all of the other things that they gained access to and just how many laptop computers they tried to purchase. So if you're interested in hearing about that, uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, you'll be notified as that will be the next video I release and what happened and what I had to do and how I stopped it and, and kind of figured out what exactly had happened. Just tell me one thing. If they're so good, if they're so good at hacking, why do they, if, if they want to buy these computers, why? Just tell me why they don't put those services to good use and go out and make an honest buck where they could buy a hundred computers. Can somebody, let me know in the comment below. Just tell me exactly why. Why can't you do that? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm absolutely exhausted. It has been a week of playing whack-a-mole, trying to head these guys off at the pass. But, all right, let me go back to the beginning. Sorry for my tangent, sorry for my ranting. Like I said, it's been a long week and I haven't had much sleep. So, they hacked my Google Ads account. And I got kind of notified because they were trying to make some purchases on some other accounts. I'll talk about that uh, in the next video. But during all of that turmoil, I also got this email from Google. Your, and this is my Google Ads account, your account is suspended because they've detected that someone has gained unauthorized access to your account. So I realized this is not my account. This was not, they did not suspend my account. They suspended a client's account. Okay, one of my clients that I do marketing for. So I logged into the account and here's what I see. This campaign had been created, search dash one. And I click into the campaign and I see there's an ad group that's been created. Not only that, but they are advertising blockchain applications, blockchain app, companies, programming, developer, and they have 18 keywords in here all about blockchains, all about NFTs. And I'm like, okay, I didn't create that account. Um, not only that, but it was really quite poorly set up. As you can see, they're all broad match keywords. This campaign would have spent a ton of money and it was set for $1,000 a day. $1,000 a day on broad match keywords, which would have been, it would have maxed out like that. Obviously, I didn't create this, contact my client, and he did not create it. So I contact my client, let him know the account suspended, and I have some work to do. So I figured out, obviously, that they set this account up and that they were trying to spend $1,000 a day on a really, really bad keyword, really bad ads. So the good news is, is Google's algorithm caught the bad account and it shut it down before it could spend any money. But here is the other thing that I found out about this account. When I go into that account and I click on change history, I look at on June 20th at 
12.53 and 12.54 p.m., it shows that I, uh, my, they have my email address, it shows that I created the account, which absolutely I did not. And thank God that Google did find this out. But here's the crazy thing. I have two-factor authentication turned on on my account. So when I log into Google, I have to not only give them my password, they have to make sure it's me, right? I have two-factor authentication turned on. So I have absolutely no idea how these guys got in. I have to log in on my phone and put in a code to show that it's me gaining access to this account. So while I still have no idea, I still have no answers, I now have to go recover this account and they did it to another account as well. Let me show you that one real quick. Here is the other account, and they created a campaign called Search 8 at $85.90 a day. Not sure how they got that number. And this one they created for robot trading and auto robot trading and bot trading um, and every crypto bot. All of these keywords, once again, really, really poorly set up, um, broad match keywords. And as I go into the change history, I realize that they use a dummy account. So essentially they use my account to access this. Somehow, I don't know where they got this password, but they logged in with that dummy account and used that one to make changes. So this almost happened right away. One account was broken into at 12.29 p.m. And not only that, but 12.29 p.m., they created the entire account and made two bid adjustments all within uh, approximately 40 seconds. So obviously this is some kind of bot that's doing this. The other account was 12.53 p.m. and they created the entire campaign, made a couple of bid adjustments all within about 30 seconds. So once again, we know this is a bot. You can't physically go in and do all of this um, just like that. So what do I do? Well, now it's it's back to account recovery. The first thing I do is I call Google, call their uh, number to Google Ads to try to get a specialist. Here's what I receive. Hi, welcome to Google Ads. To get started, enter your 10 digit customer ID. Thank you for calling Google Ads customer support. Phone support is currently unavailable due to the preventive measures we're taking to protect the health of our support specialists in light of COVID-19. So phone support is down. They are not taking any calls. I just spoke to somebody over there last week about an account and now phone support is completely shut down. So I have to go through the awesome process of trying to contact somebody online, which as you know, if you've done this before, it can take some time. I go into each account, um, let them know that the account was hacked, let them know that we changed passwords, that two-factor authentication is turned on, and uh, the one account, they uh, got reinstated within, I think, about three days. The other account is still uh, suspended, as well as my account, um, probably because they noticed the changes came from my account, but I submitted a report and still am waiting back on that. What can you do if this happens to you? You just have to follow the process. You can try to call Google. I'm not gonna put the number up because there's a thousand of them. Um, and obviously they're not taking any calls right now, which is awesome. <laughs> but uh, you just submit the report and give them as much detail as possible. I let them know that somebody hacked our account, that we've since changed the passwords, two factors turned on, which it was in the first place, so not really quite sure why that makes a difference. Uh, we did not make those changes, they created a campaign called search dash one that they were advertising blockchain and that we, uh, you know, are, we, this is a client account and please unsuspend it. Whatever you do, do not delete the campaigns. You see a bad campaign in there, contact Google, let them know what's going on. Do not delete them. They need to see that information. They probably still can't on their end anyway, but just leave it there. The next thing is we, you just wait, you sit and wait and it sucks. You just wait and wait and wait, hoping to get that email. We got the email that the first account was unsuspended. Now everything is uh, back up and running. 
Second account, once again, still waiting and, he, and did this at the same time. So I'm not sure why they can do one in three days and the other one has been seven days. But I have faith it'll it'll be up and running soon and my account is still suspended. So I know that wasn't really a short story. If it does happen to you, first thing you do is go in and make sure you change your passwords. Make sure you have two-factor authentication turned on and then contact Google and give them as much information as possible. Tell them when you found out about it. Tell them about the bad campaign. Tell them what is advertising. Say that you did not make the changes. Once in the change history, see which email address it came from. And hopefully that will give you maybe a little bit more information. But as I said, I will follow this up with another video because this is the just the beginning, the very beginning of what happened. They got into everything. And believe me when I say it was like playing whack-a-mole, trying to stop them before they could cause any more damage. And I'm the guy, I'm constantly preaching to my wife and my kids, don't have the same password for more than one account. Make sure it's a password that nobody can figure out. Uh, make sure that you have two-factor authentication turned on wherever you can. I am super protective about this stuff. And if it can happen to me, it can happen to you. And we know that there's there's different things that Google can do probably better. Okay, so let's not try to bash them. We went through the process. It, it's being taken care of. But at the same time, it it takes a long time. It's just, it's a painstaking process where now I'm sitting here waiting, waiting, waiting. What's happening? When's it going to be back on? My clients are asking me questions. I have nothing to give them. So just, yeah. Anyway, hope it doesn't happen to you. And like I said, if you want to hear more about what happened, uh, subscribe because my next video will be the fun one. The one where we see all the fun things that they tried to purchase and just how much money they tried to get. And not only that, how many different accounts of mine they got into. All right, so if this has happened to you, let me know. I, I'd love to hear if there's something I missed, um, if there's something that you did that helped get it recovered quicker, whatever it might be. And then please do me a favor, find these people and tell them to get a f job. Okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm sorry, I'm done. <laughs> All right, see you in the next video.